Hello, we've been looking at how assets did in 2017 and what it tells us about investors' views about how 2018 is going to pan out. Well, 2017 was a year in which for investors it was almost difficult not to make money. The price of pretty much everything rose. Uh, Global equity markets were up 21%. And the big trend was that investors were seeking risk. So everywhere, riskier assets did better than supposedly safe assets. So... Shares outperformed government bonds, Um, shares in smaller companies outperformed shares in larger companies, emerging market uh, shares did better than those in developed markets, Um, Greek equities or shares outperformed German equities. So this is theme of investors seeking risk. And if you look at individual countries, I mean, shares in equities in um, China, in Japan, two countries where they've been quite big worries about the weakness of growth a year, 18 months ago, they outperformed the global index. Investors' love affair with technology shows no sign of abating. On the contrary, um, companies like Amazon and Netflix and Facebook saw their share prices rise over 50% last year. Um, Their Chinese equivalents, Alibaba and Tencent, their share price doubled. Stock that we look at quite closely is Caterpillar, the world's largest construction machinery stock. It returned almost 80% in 2017. I think that tells you something about optimism for the construction sector globally um, in 2018. Now that's the past. How do investors feel about the future? Well, the answer is they're really pretty optimistic, almost euphoric. Um, If you look at um, equity analysts in the United States, they are more bullish, more positive on shares than at any time in the last 40 years. Private retail investors in America have got more money in equities than they have at at any time since the dot-com boom of uh, 2000-2000 and one. So we see continued very high levels of optimism. So I think what the, all of this says is that investors are positioning themselves for stronger global growth in 2018. I think the big question for 2018 is whether as central banks and particularly the Federal Reserve start to tighten monetary policy, what that will do to asset prices. Um, asset prices at the moment um, in some some areas look quite stretched. Um, There's a lot of good news priced into markets and now investors are going to have to contend with higher interest rates. This party could go on a lot longer but central banks will be looking to tighten monetary policy without causing a crash in asset values.